Hi, this is a quick overview of how to create a map in the data visualization program Flourish using income, uh, median income data from Census Reporter, which is a great source for census related data in the United States. So here I have median income. I'm going to click on this data table that I want. I want this for all states and an easy way to do that is just to click on one state to begin with and then say add all states in the United States and this will add all of them to my table here um, and then I can download this. I'm going to use the CSV although these other file formats are also useful with Flourish. Once I download that it will be in a zip folder and I will need to unzip it to be able to use it in Flourish but I'm going to go ahead and go over to Flourish and start a new visualization. I want this to be a US state map so I can pick that template to begin with and this includes all the shape files I need for my states, but I need to be able to merge in my data. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and hide this points layer by saying disabled because I don't actually need that layer for this particular type of information. This will be a choropleth map with the states color coded based on their data. So I'm going to go to the data tab here at the top of the Flourish window, and I'm going to go ahead and change this drop down to upload data and merge because I want my new data that I have to uh, be merged with these shape files that already exist in this template. Now, this is where it's going to try to merge those based on something that is consistent between the two data sets. Unfortunately, they both have a column called name that includes the name of the state. If they're named something else, you could you know, pick a different uh, uh, identifier within your spreadsheet. And then you can go ahead and say merge. Next, I'm going to be able to select the columns that I want to use to display my map. Right now, it's trying to use just the state uh, number here. So I'm going to go ahead and change the value field to the one that actually displays the median income. That just has this code from Census Reporter, but it's column G. And so if I type that into the box, um, it will update that. And it will also update my map preview down here in the bottom. I'm going to go back to my preview tab because I'm done with my data, but I do have some additional things I want to change about my map. Um, in particular, I definitely want to be able to change um, the title and add some other things. Under the regions layer, you can change to have um, you know, borders on the states or not. It does help for some differentiation. You can also change your colors. Since this is about money, you might pick something like green, um, or you might just pick something that, that matches um, <laughs> colors that that you like, uh, maybe not that. And there's some other options you can use here as well. In this case, for the number styling, since these are dollars, I can add a dollar sign for the prefix, and that will add a dollar sign both for my key and on all of the pop-up data so that it's clear that this is in dollars. I can also customize my key so that instead of having that uh, long code from Census Reporter, it would just say median income. Later on this list, you can go through all the different options that are in here, including the pop-ups, the legend, um, but I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple things in the, the layout option. I can change the font if I wanted, for instance. Um, and I'm also able to change under header where I finally put in my title. So this is an important part. I would want to say median income by state or something else that's descriptive. And there's room to also include a subtitle and additional text. And in the footer, you can also add the source, which is important for any data map. Um, you can also save it for yourself. This title that's up here in the top left is for your own catalog within Flourish. It doesn't have to match the name of your actual visualization. It won't display if you have it embedded somewhere. So that might be where you put a name that is more useful to you, especially if you're creating a lot of different visualizations. And once you have it exactly the way you want, you can export and publish.